Some martyrs may take grass into the nest hole from the day that they arrive, but they might well take it out again. What you need to watch for is the stained effort that signifies mating is near. This will often end up as a communal affair as is shown here. You will see a lot of footage of some martins on the ground and may find it hard to believe that when our advisor started his study there was a general feeling that some martins didn't settle on the ground. Witherby's handbook told us that the nest was made of dried grass and feathers picked up in flight. Some quarry workers believed that Sam Martins didn't have legs. Our advisor well remembers looking at Sam Martin on the wires as he was speaking to one worker whose job was to clear the nests and dead young a dead Sam Martin pulley off the conveyor belt to stop them from clogging up the riddle when when the make worker made this comment. When sand couldn't be worked once the conveyor belt had been moved, then the faces were dug out, whatever the stage of the San Martin breeding cycle at that time. Communal activity like this was normally seen in the third week in April in the Nottinghamshire study. This footage was taken on the 10th, 17th and 30th of April in southern Scotland. Out the San Martin style rate and again. And now a more gentlemanly approach.
apparently this bird is feeding. The dried grass nest material is normally brought to the burrow by the female with the male remaining in the burrow to defend it. After bringing an amount of material to the nest, the female will remain in the nest hole to help the male to build the nest before carrying on with her gathering activities. Occasionally, occurring more often for second broods, a male might accompany the female as she gathers the, gathers the nest material. This is probable where mating has taken place before the nest has been completed or there is no competition for the nest holes. As the pair take a well-earned rest, 
And the idea of these videos is for people to understand the behaviour that they are seeing so that any reports that they make are accurate. How many birds would you estimate are building for this second brood period on the 19th June?